also, uh, I've been watching the, um, I guess, riots, which may have been instigated by Zionists uh, against, uh, um, uh, I don't know, the Muslim uh, uh, tribal communities in um, England, and, uh, you know, the liberal filth uh, reaction to it, you know, Starmer and his scumbag, uh, you know, chief of police. And uh, <clears throat> along with that, you know, I, I was um, watching an interview with uh, Chris Hedges uh, talking about, you know, the coming Christian fascism um, to America and, you know, then uh, walking around, uh, I guess, what used to be Leningrad here, um, where I've been living since uh, April. And altogether, I probably have... Um, Oh, I don't know, you know, 13 months here in former Leningrad. Um, and slowly I'm, you know, progressing in, you know, my knowledge of Russian, slowly. But, um, yeah, it, it just, um, you know, kind of uh, calls to mind. Um, I uh, had a friend on Facebook, uh, he, he got... Uh, you know, pe peeved, I guess, at, uh, I guess, probably a photo of, uh, that I uh, took of a post-Soviet grandpa. I thought he looked pretty cool, uh, sort of the, um, you know, the, the continuation of the Soviet civilization uh, in, in, you know, one man. Um, but, you know, whatever, you know, people are weird and touchy sometimes. Um, <clears throat> but, um, you know, it's former Facebook friend um, from Sevastopol, you know, he um, posted something where uh, there was some American intellectual who actually interviewed Lenin, and, you know, this intellectual, some sort of reporter, you know, journalist, I guess, um, writer, whatever, he, um, he posited that the large cities in Russia and, well, under uh, whatever you want to call it, you know, the, the revolution, let's say, um, would, um, you know, basically have to atrophy to balance out the other urban centers around Russia. And uh, the driving force would be, for this would be the... Um, you know, uh, supersession, overcoming, you know, merchants and capitalism, and, um, uh, you know, basically shutting down uh, uh, merchant uh, shysting, you know, uh, food and clothing and, you know, the necessities of life, uh, as well as, you know, uh, those things ancillary to, you know, food, clothing, shelter, but basically, you know, overcoming the uh, you know, merchants as a class, um, and, you know, eventually that would mean, uh, there wouldn't need to be such a concentration of populations in huge cities like, uh, you know, at the time this was Petrograd, um, or Moscow, etc., or New York, for that matter, or London, um, and, you know, that could very well be, uh, you know, I, Kind of uh, thinking about that, um, you know, looking around, like to my left here, there's some, you know, low-paid Central Asian migrant, uh, you know, basically uh, keeping the place in order, uh, you know, uh, dumping the trays, uh, etc. And uh, there's a whole army of uh, striver cunts, you know, here in Pito, what I call Pito Grad, uh, Mexican slang for dick. <laughs> uh, you know, and basically, um, uh, s someone was commenting, I forget who, but, you know, basically this whole layer of petty bourgeois filth, you know, the small business scum, um, you know, it's all based upon, yeah, like, you know, I'm small bourgeois, can I make it into the big bourgeoisie? Well, how am I going to do this? By lying, cheating, and stealing, and basically selling out 
you know, to capitalism, you know, which is what the followers of the Democrats and the Republicans are all about, you know, back in, uh, you know, uh, the land of Hitler freedom, America. Um, and similarly here, you know, what's the base politically for, you know, capitalism in these, uh, especially these big cities, uh, you know, like St. Petersburg, Petrograd, Russia, or Moscow, etc. You know, it's basically... Um, uh, what uh, huckster um, you know cheats and uh, liars uh, and connivers and uh, you know so uh, in order to have uh, a more rational society you have to overcome that right and how do you overcome that well you have a fundamental crisis of capitalism like you did here a hundred years ago and the working class takes over in workers' councils and allies with soldiers, sailors, you know, poor peasants, um, you know, yeah, like they did here a uh, hundred years ago. We had peasants. Um, now we have peasant workers. Um, but, you know, they basically then make a more rational, democratic society and they repress, uh, you know, the huckster scum the capitalist scum, uh, you know, that remains behind and tries to save, you know, the old rotten shit, uh, like, you know, anyway, so, but that failed, right, like, basically, um, you know, the, the scum of the West betrayed us here in the Soviet Republic, and, you know, what, uh, the society here degenerated to the point where the, you know, conniver, uh, you know, scum, uh, you know, small bourgeois scum came back and restored capitalism. So here in this mall, you know, I just had uh, Russian Kentucky fried chicken. I had 12 wings. I think it was like almost like $6, which in Russian money is probably like $12, right? So, you know, that that's, uh, that's serious money. You know, if you're a worker... Uh, toiling away uh, for shit money, you know, to spend $12 on 12 wings. Yeah, that's a dollar a wing. Wow. You know, think about that. Um, so, you know, that sucks. But unlike, uh, you know, the land of Hitler freedom, at least people aren't going homeless here or really hungry here or, um, <clears throat> you know, they don't have their heat shut off like in England. That, that fucking shithole, um, you know, under Starmer, you know, the fucking, like, little Hitlerite, liberal, multicultural piece of shit, now threatening people with uh, prison when they say, yeah, we want to shoot you because you're basically freezing, you know, you're trying to, mur you're murdering us, you're not trying to murder, you know, you're murdering the working class, you're allowing tribal migrant filth to come over from, you know, shitholes like Pakistan and rape us rape our daughters, or, you know, murder uh, people on the street. I mean, you know, I'm going back to the land of Hitler freedom for a month or three for business, and, you know, I'm going to carry pepper spray, and if some, you know, fucking piece of shit steps to me like that, a migrant piece of shit, you know, I'm going to hose him down with the pepper spray and knock his teeth out, right? So, you know, I was brought up to be a civilized social democrat, but that that's, that's fake, you know, that's what, you know, this place is, is basically, you know, malls were designed by some Austrian social democrat, and Zinoviev here, he was the czar of Leningrad, he said, you know, social democrats are basically phonies and thieves and murderers, they're, they're gutter criminals, and, you know, those who ally with gutter criminals, you know, deserve death. Uh, well, you know, you look at this food court here, it's a lot nicer than you find in most places in America, actually. And this mall is, you know, it, yeah, it's nicer laid out. You know, so uh, the former Soviet Union, because of Russian civilization and Soviet civilization, it's 400% less shitty here. You know, it, it's, it's two and a half times uh, the cost of living, you know. Uh, it, well, it, it's, you know... The cost of living is two and a half times cheaper, 250% cheaper here. Um, it's much more reasonable here. The society is not as alienated and violent as it is. Yeah, nowhere near as violent. 
uh, you know, 30% at least violent, and less violent uh, than, say, Los Angeles, maybe an equivalent city in America, roughly speaking. So, um, yeah, and but, you know, at the same time, you have basically peasant workers here. They don't want to talk to anyone. Uh, they've been repressed because, well, they're, you know, their grandparents were peasants, and they didn't know how to act right a lot of times. Yeah, they would come here and they would organize gangs, you know, like the Mexican scum in Chicago in Little Village, you know, basically. They come to America, what do they do? They organize a gang and uh, they start shooting one another uh, or, you know, threatening normal people uh, like me, you know, the native population. I'm native to the Great Lakes on one side of my family. Um, And, you know, you do that again or you don't, I, I don't care, you know, yeah, I'm seriously considering joining the border service in America after, you know, hopefully Trump wins and we get, uh, what's his name, uh, Homan as head of the, uh, as head of ICE and it, it, it's going to be the highlight of my life to go into Chicago and deport you at gunpoint and, uh, you know, I hope you act a fool so I can fucking shoot you, um, give me a reason, you know, you filthy animal. So, um, and that points to, you know, however, the question of, you know, like, thinking about, you know, like, okay, one side of my family became Soviet, I guess you could say, and then the other side was Canadian, Northern American, you know, since 1830, right? But, you know, uh, yeah. But, you know, like Lenin said, there's a small tradition and a great tradition. And our people were part, more part of this, yeah, small tradition, I guess. But, you know, parts of that family, the Irish part, should have been deported, you know, back in 1850, back to Ireland, I would say. You know, just like half the Mexicans should be deported back to Mexico, or half the blacks in Chicago should be deported to Mississippi. Um, so, you know, there, there's a question there, you know, like the English... You know, I was watching this uh, uh, YouTube video of an English nationalist, and he, you know, basically quite rightly pointed out that, you know, uh, Muslims basically have no business being like the mayor of London or, you know, whatever, in political power in Scotland, etc. Um, you know, that's an alien culture, okay? Um, and, you know, half of my culture, uh, at least, is alien, you know, you could say, to the United States. Um, So, you know, should I be in the United States? Uh, I don't know. You know, I I guess, you know, I'm Jewish American in large part. Um, So, you know, what the hell does that mean? You know, maybe I should stay, you know, in Chicago, I guess, or, yeah, uh, and, you know, clean up Chicago. Um, Yeah, yeah, and, you know, basically over here, the way we did that was we shot the folks, you know, like, if you're a criminal, a rapist, a murderer, you know, just a common thief, you get a bullet. Or, you know, if we don't have a gun, we'll just put a rope around your neck and string you up on the tree or the lamppost. You know, until the Cheka arrived and, you know, we had a public trial with hundreds of workers and then we put you up against the wall and shot you. Um, so, you know, that's why things are much better here. Uh, because, yeah, like here nowadays... Uh, you have, like, Tajik scum who carry knives. Well, I carry a knife, too, but I don't stab people. You know, like some of this criminal Tajik scum. Uh, And, you know, they're basically barbarians. You know, they're the barbarians, the descendants of Genghis Khan and the Golden Horde, basically, uh, who the Chinese, the the, you know, the civilized people with, clever people with delicious food, the Middle Kingdom, they built a great wall against these fucks. You know, 13,000 miles of fucking wall. You know, that's like how many times, what is the United States, 2,000 miles long? So imagine that, six times, more than six times uh, the uh, the width of the United States. You know, if you, you Mexican liberals want to fucking uh, cry about Trump's wall, you know, think of what the Chinese would do to you. <laughs> I mean, my God. You know, on the border, you know, down south in China, I guess, yeah, they basically execute people for drug smuggling. So, you know, a third of the Mexicans who come into the U.S. would basically be shot, you know, which is fine. You know, I I plan to shoot you, um, you know, if I'm in the border service, um, you know, yeah, if, 
you know, just like in Chicago when I was in the Green Party, when some, you know, filthy Irish piece of shit, you know, this bitch from the uh, Water Reclamation District, when I mentioned uh, that we had Green Party candidates uh, running against this bitch, you know, she sent some uh, Mexican fucking scumbag, you know, on his car, it said scumbag. And he, you know, stared at me like he was going to kill me at the traffic light. And I had my gun on me, and I took my gun out, and I pointed the gun at him under the window. And I was like, please show me a gun, you filthy animal. I will end your fucking miserable criminal life right here and now. You know, and, and that's what I'm waiting to do. You know, go back to Chicago and, you know, shoot so many of those fucking animals. Um, yeah, yeah, they're just, they're filth. And so, you know, here, when filth acts up, you know, they don't have guns, thankfully, but uh, they have knives. So, say one, you know, Tajik piece of shit stabs another Tajik piece of shit, or even a Russian, and, you know, the, the local uh, migration service here grabs up the Tajik, throws him in a, a camp here, you know, outside of uh, uh, St. Petersburg here, uh, down kind of south suburbs, and then deports him back to Tajikistan. You know, you're not coming back. You know, stay in your fucking kishlock, your adobe shit mud, mud hut for the rest of your fucking miserable criminal barbarian life. You know, so, you know, I, I don't have any sympathy for these stupid, um, you know, oh, we hug a migrant, uh, you're a racist Islamophobe. Oh, fuck you. You know, you need to get the fuck out, go back to your fucking cornfield, you stupid cunt. So, you know, that's what needs to happen in the West is basically, you know, these fucking liberals or super liberals masquerading as, like, so-called Marxists, you know, they, they need to shut the fuck up and go back to their fucking cornfield. Um, you know, they had they, the stupid liberal filth in England mobilized their uh, uh, stupid, useful idiots, you know, supposed anti-racism protests, uh, you know... Yeah, those, they're idiots. You know, they're like the color revolution scum uh, that manifested in Minsk. You know, I was walking up former Lenin Avenue in Minsk when that happened in like October 2020. And there was a whole battalion of dudes with uh, Kalashnikovs waiting to gun down these CIA collaborators. It was pretty sweet. You know, it, I, it, was, it was pretty intense. I was like, whoa, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was, that was a wow, you know, um, so, but, um, yeah, you know, like over here, you know, the government and the people, the majority here, they don't give any fucks about you liberal cunts, you know, you're, you're scum, you're collaborators, you're, you're basically, yeah, like Zenobia said, you're the worst, uh, criminal collaborators with the rapists and the murderers and the fanatics and the tribal backward you know, savages and barbarians. Um, you know, normal countries with a real history like China and Russia, and, and Russia. Uh, you know, they, you know, scum like that gets violent or out of hand. They just like throw them in a camp here, and then off to Tajikistan you go for the rest of your fucking life. You ain't coming back, buddy. So, you know, yeah, I welcome. You know, it's unfortunate that you know the the Western European and American working class decided to betray the October Revolution, but, you know, in a way, I think the nationalists, uh, they're far preferable to these liberal filth, uh, you know, just ruined, you know, the whole planet, and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, 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 I will applaud the nationalists. I hope in England they do mass deportations and, uh, you know, some executions of these, uh, you know, the violent rapists and murderers and uh, terrorists in England. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, just send Starmer and the fucking liberals back to their, you know, little uh, uh, cottages. God, they're the worst. So, 